every once in a while to come across something that has a lot of authority. Some things have a little bit of authority, but some things have a lot of authority. Some authority is intrinsic. It's just, if you don't follow it, it's your problem. But some things have authority that, that is outside of itself. It gets um, some kind of support that, that the authority that that thing or that person has uh, has some kind of, of intrinsic support like, or extrinsic support, some kind of support outside of itself. And so in the Bible, there's a story about Jesus that we're going to be looking at soon and, and on this coming Sunday. And in that story, what we're going to see is that Jesus uh, goes through a ceremony. And this ceremony is, is more than just a ceremony. This baptism that he's going to go through is not just simply a baptism. It's not just a ceremony. But it actually represents um, the authority that he's been given. And, and once we come to understand this, we'll see something that has to do with this thing called mishpat. And, and this word mishpat, it, it has a lot of, of meanings. But specifically in this passage and in, in, in about this passage, mishpat has this meaning uh, that of, a th of, of justice and, and that things will be made right. And so somehow Jesus and his baptism has something to do with giving him that authority. So we're going to talk about that uh, anyway this coming Sunday and uh, looking at Matthew chapter 3, verses 15 through 17 and 21 and 22. So this Sunday as we look at that passage, I hope that uh, you'll prepare ahead of time because it's, uh, it's a really interesting passage about Jesus' baptism. Why was he baptized? We've talked about that before, but we're going to talk about it again and uh, in a little more detail as to why he did that and what kind of authority it gave to him. So I'll see you Sunday. I really hope you have a great week, and God bless you. I'm praying for all of you that are not feeling well, and I hope you have um, a better day today than you've been having. God bless you, and I'll see you Sunday.